My name is Moshe Ala. I'm from Watts, California. I'm a cryptocurrency trader by day, boxer by night. My first pair of sneakers was actually a pair of Son of Mars. Uh, they were like black and like blue and purplish a little bit. Really, they weren't mine. They were really my older brothers. He used to get so mad because I'd go in his closet and like take his clothes and put them in my backpack and wear them to school once I get there because he didn't want me wearing his clothes. He came home a couple times and I kept having those shoes on. He was like, here, man, damn, like you can just take these, stay out of my closet. Boxing's kind of always been in my family a little bit. Like my grandfather was a boxer, my pops. He did a little something back in the day. He always been interested in it. And then my uncle was a professional boxer. Well, then when I was 14, I started going to the gym with my uncle, who was the professional boxer at Freddie Roach's gym in Hollywood. Guys who like world champions would like come up to me and just tell me like, damn, this kid looks good. So that always stuck with me like, damn, like you think I could be like Muhammad Ali or something like that one day. And I kind of fell off. And then recently I got back into it after uh, a breakup with my girlfriend. And I remember going to the gym with my pops. And my pops told me, uh, he was like, we gonna come back tomorrow, I wanna see what you got. I got in the bag. I didn't look half bad, I looked actually kinda good. And my pops is such like a harsh critic. He told me I look good and I took that to heart. I was like, damn, okay, well shit, I must look good if he said it. It's so personal, you know, like developing your own style as a boxer. I do what I do because I want to be an example to, to other dudes, other younger guys around me. And they better say, well, damn, you know, he grew up how I grew up, or he came out of a community similar like mine's, and look what he was able to do. I want to be able to show that you could do it while being a stand-up guy. Life after boxing, for me, looks like community work. I want to do a lot of things within my community, uh, you know, for children. Some kids might not know what they want to do. Maybe they might come to a boxing gym one day and be inspired. Uh, like I was. I want people to be able to say that, that I was a giver before I left. I left something behind that uh, that's a value to someone outside of myself. Once you're gone, the only thing you have is, well, what can people say about you? Or what was, you know, what was the what was the memory that people have of you? And I want I want to, I want my memory to be that I helped people. You know that I gave. Thank y'all for giving me an ear, giving me an opportunity to speak. Y'all can find me on Instagram at Shada Shepherd, or y'all can come down to Broadway Boxing Gym, lace up and give me a couple rounds. Peace.